Ready to see Prompt Builder in action? Awesome. Welcome to Salesforce Admin's Innovate with Prompt Builder. I'm your host, Ella Marks, and today we are going to show you how you can use a field generation template to summarize customer feedback in Prompt Builder. Let's get started. Greetings, everybody. Josh Burke, an admin evangelist over here in Audience Relations, here to talk to you about Prompt Builder. Let's see Prompt Builder properly in action. So we are in an organization for Coral Cloud Resort, which is a fictional company that sends people on you know, corporate trips and vacations and experiences. And we want to know a little bit more about what Cret thinks about her experiences with us. And so if we go to the related list here, we can see we have a few guest reviews from her, a varying rating and, um, and her comments overall. And so if I go into details, what I'd like to do is I'd like to have a guest summary here that kind of pulls in all of that data and then just puts it into a nice, easy to read paragraph so that we have a simple summary of what she thinks about our experiences. So let's use the power of Prompt Builder to get that done. I'm gonna go over to Prompt Builder in Setup and we're gonna click New Prompt Template and we're going to do Field Generation because we're gonna put that field, right? That we're gonna generate content for that custom field. Uh, we're going to call it experience summary. Now, here's an important thing. Descriptions we know is good practice. Like we know we should put in human friendly descriptions for people. We also, however, should be putting in human friendly descriptions for AI. Because when the AI comes through our metadata and it's looking at objects, and it's looking at prompts, it's looking at templates, it's going to look at the description. And that description is going to help us say it again, ground the AI and what it's trying to figure out that we want to do. And so a nice, doesn't have to be very long, but a nice, friendly, human friendly description is really important. Summary of a contact's experiences with us based on guest reviews, All right? And then we're going to base that on contact. And frequently what you're going to want to do is have a custom field for field generation. Not always necessarily, uh, but you know, if people are used to using standard fields manually, a custom field might be more comfortable for them. So, but we're going to use this custom field here and we're going to hit next. And then we're going to pull uh, into a uh, prompt builder here. Okay. Now we start here with a completely blank slate. And what we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to just basically put in the exact same thing that we put into the, the, the description field, right? For the prompt itself. Let's see what happens when we select Coret here and save and preview that. So we're going to send that off to the LLM. It's going to try to come up with a response that says, thank you for requesting a summary of context experiences, yada, yada, yada. It's not really telling us much of anything. And the reason why it's not telling us much of anything is because we're not grounding this into, into the actual data on the contact record. So, but that's very easy to do. And what I like to do is like, so we can keep what you wanted first and then just go ahead and after you say the thing that you want to ground, go into the resource selector here and then we'll go down to full name and we'll select that. Now we don't have to talk about experiences because the guest reviews are going to give that to us. So we go back here, go back to our resource selector, go to contact, and if we scroll down, then we can do guest reviews. All right. Now we've taken that exact same request and we've, we have grounded into the contact data. Let's see what happens now. Boom. We're actually talking about correct James. It's pulling in the full name correctly. It starts talking about various things from one review uh, and ratings were provided where A3 and five respectively. And then thank you for your attention to the summary. So out of the three reviews, it gives us a pretty decent, uh, you know, example of, of what we would want to do. This is, this is a good first start, but I'm going to tell you right now, you are going to very rarely have a prompt that's going to work the way you really want it to, that's only going to be about a sentence long. Because for instance, what happens when um, I go over to my friend here, Barry, Barry with two O's, two R's, and I preview for Barry. 
Well, Barry doesn't have any guest reviews. He's never given us a guest review. And so we, we can't, he can't, we can't generate that summary. And this is a very important thing to consider when you're previewing your, against your records, preview against a lot of different records that have a lot of different data shapes to them so that you can get a heads up as to what is that going to really look like when it really comes down to being, having the field generated. Now, this is okay, uh, but I want to control this a little bit more. So let's let's do a little magic here. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to, but we're also going to give it a little bit more instruction about what to do. So it's I want to say how many reviews we have, but if there are no reviews, then say we have no surveys from the contact. And notice I'm also saying keep it to that sentence, and I'm doing that very specifically because when I've done things like this in the past, it will... It has an idea. AI has an idea of what you want to hear in terms of a paragraph. And so even if you say something like, then just say, it might also still add something like we've been seeing, like, thank you for the summary. And I just want this sentence. So let's see what we get from Barry now. Here we go. We have no surveys from Barry Osmond. Now I'm controlling that edge case. Now what happens when we go back to correct James? Now we've blocked it to saying we have three reviews. <laughs> and that's all. Now, now it is being so specific that that's the only thing you know it knows how to do. Okay, so we've given it a little bit of gatekeeping. Let's give it a, let's give it a little bit of fun. Let's make this an actually kind of interesting summary. Okay, what we've added here is a couple of things. First of all, this is considered a, a tip to kind of focus the eyeballs of the AI, so to speak. Like it's kind of an emphasis thing. Um, and so more than more than anything else, I wanted to get this right. So I've encapsulated that in, in the, the three apostrophes here. Um, and then we're gonna say, however, if there are reviews, so we're, so if you hit that first case now, but we're saying if you are do have reviews, I want this to be in a simple paragraph. I want you to include an average of the views, I do. So let's say, you know, if, if, uh, Karad had given us 17 different reviews, I don't want 17 different quotes. I just want the best and I want the worst, um, and the worst rated reviews. And you want to be able to make sure you're adding a context like that. What do I mean by best and worst? Well, by the rating itself, uh, and include the experience name in those quotes, stick to only two quotes. Again, emphasis, repetition, tell it what you really want it to do. Keep your tone professional, keep it under 250 words, but let's have a little bit of fun with this. End with a limerick and an emoji. Now let's see what we get. Here we go. We have our paragraph, and then if we scroll down a little bit, we get our nice little limerick and it ends on an emoji. Okay, so hey, we have an informative paragraph, we have a fun little limerick, we have got an emoji, let's get this on Coret's record. We can go into the page and edit that, go to the field, and select that template that we just created, and hit save. Now that it's been saved, we can go back to our record, and now, You'll notice a couple of things. Our pencil, there's a little magic, little magic there. When I hit guest summary, I get this little button here. And when I click it, it's gonna do the exact same thing that we just saw. We might get a different response though, because remember these are these are generative, right? This is not deterministic. So it could be a completely different limerick. Uh, but we have the same th same things we wanted for a paragraph, limerick, emoji. I'm gonna say that's fine. I'm gonna hit save and then hit save. And boom, we have our prompt builder created field already filled out. Uh, so I hope that it was really useful to you. And thanks once again for watching. Josh just showed us prompt builder in action, creating a field generation template to summarize customer feedback. To continue learning, make sure to check out these resources. Don't forget to subscribe to our Salesforce admins YouTube channel, check out this blog post and get hands on with prompt builder. We can't wait to see what you've built with Einstein. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time in the cloud. Awesome